Hello and everyone, here is Professor Andrea. I'm with uh, Power Electronic Institute from Federal University of Santa Catarina, uh, Florianopolis. Uh, I'm going to make this video to present the application that we performed for the 10 for 10 program from Typhoon Hill. Congratulations Typhoon Hill for your 10 years. Uh, here the application it's a dual active bridge, basically it's a high power density DC DC converter uh, that uh, we have two uh, full bridge switches connected by an inductor and a transformer. Here we have the schematic that we perform it. Uh, uh, the main challenge here is to make the modulation. Here we have the open loop model and then I'm going to show the closed loop model. So this uh, C function is going to perform the modulation. Here we have a carrier uh, formator, a carrier generator. Okay. Uh, this gives two carriers and these carriers gives the control of these switches. Okay. Uh, here the model is already compiled. I'm going to show the SCADA. Let's run it. Okay, so here we have the input voltage that can be controlled here. And here we have the phase shift angle control of the output. If we change the phase shift, here we have the scope that shows us the VAB, that is this voltage. VAB2, that is this voltage. Here we have the phase shift uh, control. This controls the output power. So as higher the phase shift angle, higher the output voltage and the output power. This is the open loop. So we don't have a reference here. Okay. So the next step uh, is to perform a closed loop model. For this, we have also here a schematic for the closed loop. We change putting a control block. Here we have a PI controller. This controller gives an angle that goes to the same C block that we had before. Okay, let's compile this model. Uh, while this, we have now to show that we perform an interface board for this launchpad kits from Texas. Here we have the launch, uh, launchpad kit for uh, performance or basically power electronics. Here we have these kits and we did an interface board. Uh, here we have all the schematic that we are going to send to you uh, of this board that uh, we developed. Here we have a 3D. This board is already working. Okay, that our lab here is the sign of our lab uh, from Typhoon Hill. Uh, from board to Typhoon Hill. Okay, and here we have the place where we put uh, our blocks. Our, I'm sorry, our lunch pads from Texas. Okay. Uh, so the model is going to be uh, loaded to the interface. Let's check the closed loop interface. Let's close this scope. Okay, here we have the closed loop interface. We just change. We also have the input voltage control and now we have the output voltage reference. That's the big difference. Okay, so now the angle So now we have the output reference, okay, we change here the reference and the output voltage measure. We have uh, some errors because the low accuracy of this uh, phase shift, this phase shift is rounded, so we cannot have this kind of, 
degree point seven one we just have fifty degrees so now here we have changed the reference the phase shift is going to change in order to accomplish the reference if we change the input also change the phase shift angle okay now here we have almost uh, saturated so now we have the control working out changing the reference again the control loop will perform the output voltage compensation okay this is our video from INEP uh, Power Electronic Institute from Federal University of Santa Catarina uh, Florianopolis campus uh, that we perform with the Typhoon Hill uh, schematic okay see you